Fuentes. <laughs> Um, they're these like really cool like plants in a glass container. Um, and they're just like really nice to like keep around. You could like put them on a desk and it just adds like a lot of life and energy to a room, especially if they're like colorful. So these are some different ones. Um, the first ones are like hanging from the ceiling, which is really cool. And then the other one is like in a cool like glass container. And then the third one is closed off, which is really nice. So the uses of terrarium. So somebody like used it for a wedding. I love that one. It's like pink roses and like pink flowers, which adds like a really rustic theme to a wedding. Um, the side table is like really nice. Somebody, I saw a picture, somebody used it as like a coffee table in their um, living room, which looked really nice. And then you could also like put it under your night lamp. Um, so there's two types of terrariums. There is closed and open ones. So closed terrariums have a water cycle. It's the one in the bottom. Um, so basically, like the water will evaporate, but it stays inside of it because it's in a container. Um, and then the water will evaporate and like condense to the sides of the glass, and then it'll go down to the roots of the plant. So you don't have to like constantly add water to it. Um, and it also allows for photosynthesis. And then there is closed ter I mean open terrariums which are more for like dry plants who need uh, more direct sunlight. So that would be for like a cactus or succulents. So the materials that you would need is a glass container and it can be honestly like any glass container. Like they use these little tiny tubes, which is really cool. Um, you will need dirt and then for like a cactus and a succulent, you need a special type of dirt because they're a lot drier. You'll need sand or rocks for drainage. Um, and then of course you'll need a plant they could be like colorful. Um, small ones are better just because it fits better. Uh, and then you can have succulents or cacti, which is like the picture right there. Or you can have tropical plants. Um, you will need gravel and charcoal, which will be used to like balance out um, the terrarium. And then you will need a small shovel or scoop. So the steps. So your first step that you want to do is um, gather all your materials. Then you want to like clean your um, vase or whatever you use because if it is a closed terrarium like fungus or mold will grow if it's not clean um, and then you want to picture the placement of your plants the second step is the drainage layer so you want to add like rocks or pebbles to it just so that when water like goes down it it won't stay in the soil and cause like bact bacteria to grow and then uh, you want the drainage layer to be like half an inch to two inches. And then you want to add charcoal. You want to add activated charcoal, which will reduce the bacteria, the fungi, and the odors. And this is really important when it's like a closed container because moisture stays inside. So if there's moisture, like it's easier for bacteria to grow. And you just want to add enough charcoal to cover the rocks. You don't have to add too much. Um, step four, so you want to add your soil. Again, for succulents and cacti, you're going to need special soil. Um, normally, it will just come whenever you buy like a cacti or a succulent. Um, the soil will already be in it, so you could just use that soil. And you want to add enough soil for the roots to have space to grow. Um, your fifth step is you want to plant it. So you want to remove any excess dirt, like they're doing up there. You want to dig a spot for the plant, so you can just use like a spoon or a shovel to do that. And then you want to compact the soil around the roots of the plant. Um, and you want to try to keep the plant away from the glass when you plant it, so that it has enough space to grow. So the last step is you want to add accessories to it and just make it like really pretty. So you can add figurines like the one in the bottom there, they kind of made it like look like a beach, which is really nice. And then the top one, they added like Star Wars stuff to it. That's boss right And then the one in the bo um, bottom, they added like little animals to it. You can have layers of rocks. As you can see, the one in the beach did, they have rocks, or you can have stones, whatever makes it look like really nice. Um, maintenance. So you want to remove any dead plants and leaves because <coughs> fungus will grow in them. You do not want to place them in direct sunlight because the sun will get trapped 
in the um, glass containers. You want to monitor the water. So for ones that are closed, if you see like water is dripping down, you want to open it so that some of the water can evaporate. Um, and then if the plant looks dry, of course, you just add water. And these are some like really cool ones, like that one added a waterfall, and then a face, and that one looks like a beach. And that's how to make us uh, one of these. <laughs>